What's up guys? Welcome back to Minecraft here on the channel. Welcome back to some more Pokefine, specifically Pokemon Go here on the channel. We're back for what is told to be the very last Shadow Quest. Super excited about this. They just released this uh, the other night. So we're going to open this up, go ahead and hop over to our quest log. Uh, yeah, Shadow Quest 3 right here. So for winning this one, you actually get another Shadow Egg, which is pretty exciting. 50 tokens and 40,000 coins. 10,000 trainer XP if you don't have it already. So we need to speak to Michael at the Secret Cave in Mystical Keep. So we're going to go ahead and stop that. So, okay, so we need to head to Mystical Keep. So we'll go ahead and type that in and go ahead and warp over there. I have no idea where the Secret Cave is. So I'm hoping once we get here. Also, to check out our team, <clears throat> we still got our... Four level 100s, Alakazam, haven't really done anything to, he's still level 42, and Gengar is up to uh, level 77. So, we need to find the secret cave. I don't know where this secret cave is, will be. They also added an update with Halloween Pokemon that have come out. Uh, that's going to be something we're going to be looking at in next, week ep next week's episode, just because I feel like this episode is going to be pretty heavily... Uh, focused on doing the shadow quest and these videos tend to run long as it is but I need to find where this secret cave it was in quotes so I'm assuming it's a cave that is already here also I do apologize for a bit of the lag uh, everything is loading and I haven't been on the server in a couple of days so none of the uh, none of the chunks are loaded in just for me right now and there are a ton of people on and all the different servers playing this uh, this new quest uh, but I'm going to run around for a minute here in Mystical Keep and look for the Secret Cave. Mystical Keep isn't really a place that I chilled too often, so I'm actually not 100% sure where the Secret Cave is. Alright, so I went ahead and hopped over to a different server to help out with lag. So that is actually Mystical Keep's gym right there. So if you come around to the back of it, this is, uh... Oh my. Oh, that was... That was weird. Didn't look. The Secret Cave, shush, is right back here. And here's Michael and Joby hanging out. So we'll go ahead and talk to Michael. Cypher had a meeting with a handful of angel investigators and pitched them, them the shadows. And he got funding. Millions of dollars. Can you believe it? They think he's going to use the power to take over a distant region. But we both know he'll use it to destroy ours. We tracked one of his followers to a cave. There's a good chance there's something down there that can lead us to him. For him to come back to Kyoto, he must be more powerful than ever before. It's like my grandmother used to say. If money can't buy happiness, it sure as heck can buy you power. Let's check out the cave together, Wiz. Also, this whole quest evidently is hinting at Gen 3, which has been confirmed for a November release. So that is pretty exciting. So probably after we deal with the Halloween Pokemon next week, the next video should hopefully, hopefully be Gen 3, which will be really exciting. So I actually don't know if this cave has been here before. I'm sure it is, and I'm sure we've actually been into it before in like in a very early on video, like in our grinding ones. Alright, so... Looks like there's a couple of different pathways we can take, maybe? I don't know, I'm going for this big one across over here. I don't know if there's anything up there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna head right to this over here where the light is. And I hope we can find, hope we can find what's, oh. Hi guys. I, I thought for sure this would be the place. Oh, what the crap? Me too, maybe, what was that? Dude, did Mewtwo just kill Michael? No, Michael, Michael, speak to me. This ends now, Jovi get, Get Michael help from Professor Hemlock. Okay, okay, what are you gonna do? I'm stopping Cypher once and for all. Dude, you guys just see freaking Shadow Mewtwo just jump out and just freaking kill Michael? Defeat. Ugh. Also, so this one also added some new shadows. Uh, I don't know if there were any... I know, I know of two major ones. I'm gonna flip over to, uh, to hashtag announcements in the Discord just to read it to you guys itself. Uh, so... Uh, added Shadow Pokemon, uh, added 12 new Shadow Pokemon, including Mewtwo and Weedle. So those are two news that we can hopefully get. Uh, they did some other bug fixes, fixing the gems and, stu and such, which is, uh, pretty fun as well. Look at that little jack-o'-lantern right there. Alright, so let's look for this Oxel, e -Oxel guy. Ow. That looks like a trap. We're gonna run through it anyways. We just gonna run straight as everything just really awkwardly loads in and just like kills my eyes like the way it's looking for you guys over on the screen over there is the way it's looking for me it's going there's a lot of stuff loading in right now and it is not lagging well what is this, is this a shadow hair across over here oh hello dear all right so they 
They're not near, so I'm assuming we're just gonna keep going straight. I don't know why it's like I went into a very empty server. And at first it was going good, I'm assuming, because this is probably the first time this area's been loaded in the server. Uh, probably under construction. Oh no, okay, well, we won't go in there. What does that say? A ventilation system, we might have to go there later. Factory, I don't, I really don't know where this guy was. I feel like we probably should have ran into him a lot quicker than we did. Like, I feel like we're going too far into this place without having seen anyone yet. Okay, there is a ladder to get back up. But yeah, I feel like we're, we've gone way too far into this place without seeing anyone. Yeah, there's just a flurry on him there. What is that? Giovanni. What? Giovanni is locked up in here. Come again? Mo Mudkip. Oh. Hashtag Gen 3 confirmed. Yeah, what's what's Giovanni doing in here? Huh. Oh, those are invisible blocks. I can go. I can actually go to this place. Yeah, like I feel like I totally missed this dude somewhere. Uh. I. This is. Okay, another invisible path. I feel like I missed him at some point, so I'm gonna go back and look for it. Alright, so right back in the first room when you first come down, if you just head to your left right here, he's literally right up there. Uh, so we have to do a bit of a park bit of a parkour to get there, which is gonna be a ton of fun with the nine frames a sec oh oh 33, 40 frames a second. Oh you you gonna you're gonna troll me by pretending like uh, like I have I have actual frames, but in reality I don't. I honestly don't know what's been going on with my uh, Minecraft lately, like, honestly I've just had horrible frames. But alright, I am going to go ahead and drop a, sw a quick P heal just to make sure. Uh, let's see, how's your widow friend doing? Does his, does his boo boo ouchie wouchie, ha ha ha. The only thing I like better than making my opponents feel small is testing the power of my new shadow creations. And then he tossed out a level 80 flying Flareon. We're going to go ahead and uh, land that Dragon Dance. Might as well get our attack up so that way we can one-shot everyone else. What's, uh, what's, what's you going to give me, Flareon? What you going to hit me with? Super power. He's, you're too in consumed in darkness to attack. All right, let's go ahead and start outraging. Uh, we got our dance up. Might as well and outrage through the rest of them. Yeah, you can see the server is just like it's not it's not 100% me. It is the server. Most of the uh, the different lobbies right now, or the servers rather, are all around the the 60 cap. Some of them a little lower. Yo, what's up, dude? Uh, but so it, so it, the server is definitely having a little bit of a strain right now. Like I said, by the time I'm, rec I'm recording this on October 15th, the Shadow Quest was dropped yesterday on or it was dropped Friday the 13th. I just haven't had any time to play it yet. Gengar reached level 70. Oh, because we also got... We got an XP share, because I remember last episode we were trying to get one. I finally found someone who wanted to trade me one, and then it duplicated and gave me two. But I'm just not questioning it. I'm just going with it. We can hopefully try and trade it with someone uh, for some good Pokemon. Maybe hold on to it till Gen 3 comes out and try and trade it for a really rare Gen 3 Pokemon. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll hold on to it with that. All right, we got an Aerodactyl. All 85. Oh, we hurt ourselves in the confusion. Whoa, that Stone Edge landed a really good one. That was that was some decent, decent damage. But you got damage by reverse mode. I'm just gonna go for an outrage. Just hopefully he breaks through the confusion. Yep, snapped out. Another two hits for me. I know I could have gone for a roost, but honestly, I just in this type of battle, I'm not focused on keeping Dragonite alive because I know I could just pull in Tyranitar or uh, Typhlosion and knock him out. So it's not too important to me that people stay alive. So there we go. That should be everyone, maybe. Uh, oh, 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 that was that was crazy. I was being crazy. I was I was totally blinded by the shadows. I lost my head. I'm so sorry to you, and and your friend. You can still make it right. Help me defeat Cipher. Uh, they they can't hear us, but they can not see us. The, who? The shadow scientists. They're always watching. Always. But go to the shadow egg creation room. That's where I'd start. Okay. So the shadow egg creation room interesting I don't know 
where where is that at was that what back where we were earlier with uh giovanni i don't know i'm gonna go straight across and see if there's anything chilling over there before we move on any further uh there are a lot of shadows in here though right yeah that's a snorlax does this just okay does, where does this go right here there okay so this looks like like a egg creation room oh hi there finn sup dude Yo, know, what came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> well, the egg, because the chicken just entered the room and just wait until these hatch. Oh boy, <laughs> your little world will be sorry. All right, well, let's go ahead. Oh, Urshring, level 90. Let's go ahead and land that first dragon dance, get our attack up, as well as our speed. Not that we really need it too, too much uh, as far as uh, this is concerned. We typically outspeed a lot of these. Eh, I'm not going to land another one just because he is dealing some decent damage. We have our attack up, so we should be one-shotting all these Pokemon if we somehow don't manage to one-shot them. I'm going to be a bit surprised. Uh, what did that say? Oh, people open up Halloween eggs, which we're going to be looking into next week. I already said. All right. There we go, got another one down, hit that Ampharos. The Shadow Eggs are gonna be really cool though because since they're limited only here for Halloween, they gonna be real good for trading for uh, for better Pokemon come Gen 3. Or just better Pokemon in general. All right, so we're confused. Hopefully we'll break through that confusion. Yes, we will. We didn't snap out of it though, we just fought through it. To take out Sizzle, which is a very good. There we are, go ahead and hit that Executor. Yep, and we got, we're still confused though. Still confused, not didn't snap out of it, but that's good. I think he only has one or two more Pokemon left. It seems like all of them tend to have teams of six, which is makes sense at this point. They're all level 90s, which tells me when we take on... I'm, if this is the last one, I'm assuming we're taking on Cypher at the very end. He's going to have straight up level 100s, maybe even level 120s again, just because that's what they like to do to us. Goodness me, I'm at a loss for words and memory. You beat the shadows from my very core, and with it, my knowledge of how they're created or destroyed. Droid. My boss stands in his office. His defeat may lay answers bare. Defeat Willy. Alright, he said in his office. Is, is, can I go in here? No, I cannot. Can I go in here? Yes, I can. Why can I go in this one, but I can't go in the other one? That's kind of interesting. Alright, so we're looking for Willy, uh, which is evidently this dude's boss. I don't imagine he means Cypher when he says boss, because I just feel like that'd be too easy. So it seems like we're going to need to find his, his boss, his boss's office, uh, which is probably just further on into the uh, to the laboratory. It seems like anytime I come out here is when the lag starts to really hit me. Uh, I am, I'm just going to straight up, I apologize if this upsets you guys, I'm just going to drop my render distance down to like 6. It should be okay in here, should make it a little bit more bearable, hopefully. Uh, what do we got over here? That's the under construction area, and this was the this was the ventilation system. Yeah, so and this was like what the factory? Would he be in here? I don't know. Let's figure this out. I don't see anything over there. Where? Which side did we come from? That's the Alakazam with Snorlax. Who is that? Then that's the first guy we defeated. He's not over here. Oh, there he is, right here, Willie. Saw his name tag for a hot second. Oh, there he is. Okay, so he is... Alright, so that's his office right there. We just need to find where the entrance is. Alright, so here's an open door right here. They... They... They doing a... Yeah, they doing a... <laughs> walk through the paintings. There we go. Yo, what is up, Willie? My army will be Willie Strong! Willie, Willie Strong! Are you willing to fight me? Uh, serious, seriously though, the, uh, the, uh, uh, seriously though, the shadows really are strong. Uh, than ever with Cypher. His new partners, will he destroy the world? Yes, he really will. Dude, you're, you're an interesting one. You're an interesting case for sure. Level 95s already, heading up with the 95s. My Dragonite cannot even fit in this room. Alright, so Rapidash did go first, so I'm actually going to need to land two Dragon Dances, I think. I think I'm going to need two. Okay, now, so now we outspeed. We'll go ahead and get our attack super, super high. Oh my gosh, that. My gosh. 
That was, that hurt my heart. That was, why was that so loud? That was, please never again. Please never again. I don't even care that, uh, that uh, Dragonite got taken out. That was terrifying. And I never want to hear that happen ever again. My gosh. Uh, but we but we do are down to just uh, Dra well, not just Tyranitar, we're down to Tyranitar. The Builder's saying that he's going to get Shadow Mewtwo. Uh, let's see if that is the case. I'm assuming that means he's about to open up a Shadow Egg. But the fact that so many Shadows are in there, there's so many different people, so many different Shadows that you can get. As well as still Shadow Lugia, which is pretty cool. He got a Shadow... Oh, what? That's a Gen 3 Pokemon. Is it not? No, no, that's Gen 2. No, 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 that's... I'm stupid, that's Gen 2. I was, I don't know why I thought that was Gen 3. Uh, but the fact that he was saying in the earlier stuff, talking about them planning on going to a different region, I wonder if Cypher's going to go on to the next region. Like, they keep doing this whole Shadow Quest, and they said that this is the final one, and I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping we're just done with Cypher. Like, let's come up with some new stuff. That's really what I want to see. I'm going to come in with my Typhlosion against this Typhlosion. I have no idea how his health is doing. It looks like it might be in red, but I'm not. Yeah, there, okay. But yeah, we are down, uh, we are down two level 100s, and this isn't even the last battle yet, so I'm not sure how excited that, uh, makes me, although that Rapid Ash wasn't great for us to start off against with our Dragonite, <sighs> with everything happening the way it did. What is, what is happening to my type, what happened to my type Lotion there? Don't even know. I was in with another, uh, Flamethrower right here, dude is selling a Shadow Weedle. 100% IVs, and he's looking for Halloween and Aura Pokemon. No shadows or shinies. Oh, not too bad. Yeah, it looks like the the Shadow Weedle and the Shadow... I'm, I'm assuming you cannot trade Shadow Mewtwo since legendaries can't be traded anymore. But I'm assuming that Shadow Weedle's gonna go for a much. Because people love it for the uh, for the meme. Because, like, the Weedle King, all that, all that different stuff. That's why sh literally Shadow Weedle. I doubt it evolves, and if anyone did, did evolve, I'm sure they'd be stupid too. Uh, but I'm hoping this is, I'm hoping that's his last Pokemon. Yeah. What? The shadows took me over. The most literal and sensical person I know. I prefer to be called William. But th th by the way, uh, that's how much the shadows can work for mine. Help me defeat Cypher so he doesn't destroy the world. And no one uses that many puns ever again. I wouldn't say that many puns, I would say the same pun that many times. The only way to stop the whole operation is by destroying the Rosa Crystal. It powers the entire, entire facility, and it would hypothetically nullify Cypher again. Cypher returning again. Uh, gr great, where is it? I, I don't know, but Hordell might. He built the whole lab. Head to the Villanation area. He'll theoretically tell you if you beat him. Thanks, Will Willie. It's William, you're an idiot, I don't care. Alright, so we're gonna head to the Villanation area now. We've been there already, uh, so it should be pretty easy for us to find it again. Yeah, that's what was on this side. It made sense for that that area being over there since uh, Finn was on the other side. So go ahead to the right up here. So technically, we've done everything behind us now. Everything behind us has been done. So head over here to the right to the ventilation area. But yeah, it's upsetting me that they're already getting to level 90s because that's telling me that... Uh... Oh no, it's... No, 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 don't tell me we're about to have to parkour again. No, guys, will you please stop with the parkour? Will you please stop with the parkour? It's just, it's just not doing it. Although this hopefully looks like much easier parkour than, uh, than we've had to do in the past. Which is good. We, <laughs> they, they love their parkour here on PokeFind. And my system for some reason just doesn't. I, I'm gonna need to go through, I need, I've been meaning to do it, I've just been so busy. I need to clean out my PC, because honestly I'm not sure why it's lagging as heavily as it is. Uh, especially for a game like Minecraft. Like, it's really interesting because I, I can play tons of other games with no issue. I have uh, a, de a very decent computer, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, a decent motherboard, uh, but I know it depends, just because you have a ton of RAM doesn't mean everything works. But let me get through this stupid thing. Let me let me focus on this and uh, and have this go. And hopefully we'll get some good frames here in a second. All right, so I made it to the top. Still lagging, uh, but I managed it. I still have no idea what's causing my lag, but I did finally make it to the top. 
And here we got Mr. Stupid, uh, what's his face, Hordell, chilling right over here. I did switch over to a different server to try and help with the lag. I played with some settings. I'm just not sure what it is. It's something I'm gonna have to do off camera to try and figure out what is going on in my system. Yeah, baby! A good fight can get me juiced up to finish this construction up! Yeah! Woo! Let's go! These shadows have me going mile a minute, baby. Yeah! Go easy. And then I'll come in with drag level a level 100 EV. Yay. I'm so happy we're already to the level 100 Pokemon. Uh, we already outspeed Eevee. Eevee shouldn't be able to do too much to us. Like, let's, let's, oh, never mind. I lied. I lied. But Eevee did get damaged by Recoil. 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 Uh, I am going to go ahead and try and land the second Dragon Dance before we get knocked out. Just for the later Pokemon that we might be facing. Uh... Hopefully, I was hoping to be consumed by darkness. Uh, so I could go for a roost here. Uh, I think I'm going to go for a roost, just so that way before we confuse ourselves and hurt ourselves, I'm going to go and try and get our, our health up, hoping that he either does... Oh my gosh, that shadow break sounds terrifying. Like, that's that's the same exact move, freaking... Uh, I'm just going to go for the outrage, because there's... There's not much of a help for us being able to go. That's the same move freaking Rapid Ash used. What move is that? St Shadow Break? I'm just gonna like put into the Discord. Can we change the sound from Shadow Break? This is the most terrifying thing I've ever heard in my life. Alright, so we got out two of their Pokemon. Four left, I'm assuming. Uh, we're, we're confused though. So if we hurt ourselves, Dragonite's just gonna take himself out, which is the sad thing here. Yeah. Uh, damage by reverse mode. Cool. Uh, let's go on with Titar. Pop him in here. Sandstorm kicked up. Go ahead and just, just thrash around for a little bit. You need to be level 70 plus Pokemon. They, they're talking about the, the legendary quest. Like, yeah, deal, the, deal with those. Then come uh, fight these. Oh, seriously? That didn't one shot? There we go. Sandstorm took him out. And then come deal with all these level 100 Pokemon. I'm just saying, I'm not in my best... Uh, and my best fighting move right now just because I, I'm doing terrible in these in these first battles and uh, come when we actually deal with Cypher because I'm still assuming Cypher is the end goal here it's going to get worse and but since this dude has a full team of level 100s I'm assuming we need to be what the bloody crap I hate these shadow Pokemon I don't know if I've made that apparent but I hate these shadow Pokemon so much so much they are so OP and especially then you throw, like, level 100s at me. And you're like, oh yeah, you'll be fine. And you won't be fine. That's why, like, I'm hoping this is the last dude before Cyber. Because there's no way we can continue to... Like, there's no way we're going to go up against another team 100. Especially when you have a full team of level 100s. And then when we get to Cypher, they're probably going to throw, like, some level 101s and 102s at us. Which irritates the crap out of me. Because if I cannot achieve that level, the NPC shouldn't be able to achieve that level. Because that just makes it unfairly hard. Like, you're already having to make me do parkour, which I suck at as it is. And then I'm dealing with bad FPS. Which I get it, like, you're getting a free shadow egg for it. Which is, like, a $15, $20 egg. But still. Like, you're, you're the one who decided it, it should be that expensive. And you won't even let us use that, those Pokemon in tournaments and stuff, so... Just saying. But, uh, that sh it's that Shadow Storm. So those were all four of my level 100s. And I haven't been keeping track how many Pokemon he's down to, so we most likely are not going to be beating this on the first try, considering all I have left is a level 80 Gengar, Gengar and 42 Alakazam. Uh, I did change up his moveset and I put Hypnosis on him, so that way we can try and land a Dream Eater as well. So I'm just going to try and land Hypnosis. There's no... Oh, he's too consumed in darkness. I was going to say there's no way we outspeed. So he fell asleep, which is good for us. Gengar is somehow already damaged. I don't know how he has been damaged. But he somehow has lost one HP. Sure. Uh, I, maybe the Sandstorm? I don't know. So let's go with Dream Eater while he's still asleep. He hopefully doesn't wake up. Sweet. There we go. Can you just stay asleep just a, a little bit longer, Espeon? Can you stay asleep just one more turn? I'm actually, I'm, I'm gonna go with Shadow Ball in case he wakes up. There we go. Boom. Level, Gengar taking out a level 100 solo. That should give him, ooh, yeah. Almost 5,000. Oh, sweet. That was the last one. Ugh. Darn, I'm exhausted. These shadows are dangerous. 
I went in from designing the buildings at Chromium City, the most generous city in Kyoto, to physically building a factory bent on world domination. What an odd twist. <laughs> I beat. Where's the Rose of Crystal? If I destroy it, I can destroy Cypher's plans. I have... Uh, no idea. Only Cypher and Blaine, Team Rocket sci lead scientists, know where that is. Well, where are they? Uh... Yeah, I have... No clue. However, they, they recruited, uh... Pokey Fine's champion as their newest trainer. They, uh... They keep him close and he see trades with the shadows. They might catch him leaving the, leaving the under construction area right now. Uh, actually, anyways, uh... Sleepy time. So they're saying Kyoto's champion, i.e. the dude who just won the championship recently? Is that who they are referring to? Maybe. If so, that's pretty cool that he got put into a... Can I drop down here? No, I cannot. Okay, never mind. Oh, uh, don't tell me I'm stuck now. Okay, no, we can get over here. Alright, so we're gonna head over to the under construction area. Maybe. Maybe we will. I don't know, maybe we're stuck here forever. Like, if you're gonna put invisible blocks down, how about you make it where we can't fall into this area to begin with? That, uh, that might be cooler. Might be smarter! Might just be smarter. <laughs> Raging over the simplest things to get out of. But that, for some reason, I just cannot get out of because I suck. Alright, so we're gonna head to the under construction area, fall back down this parkour. This is very easy parkour, too. But it's... I hate that they keep using parkour. Just stop with the parkour. Charlie boy? Yeah, I'm assuming that's the dude who won the tournament. I honestly have no idea. You do realize that I was the very best before the shadows, right? <laughs> like, no one could stop me. And it was hilarious to watch them try. But with the shadows, you're absolutely done -zo. Go, Alakazam. Stop it! Stop it with the level 102 Pokemon! Like, can we just... Can we just... Can we just stop? Can we please just stop with level 102 Pokemon? They don't exist. It's not a thing. Can we stop? Pretty please. Pretty please can we stop with that. Because if he's rocking level 102 Pokemon, freaking leader of the scientists that we're going to have to take on, and freaking Cypher himself are going to be rocking like 105. They don't exist, okay? They don't exist. Quit pretending like they exist, and quit making us fight them. I'm very adamant about this, and I'm very passionate about this because it pisses me off. Because if I can achieve a level 102, a stupid NPC that I'm having to fight for a stupid quest shouldn't be able to, to appease 102. Like, I get it when you threw that Shadow Lugia at us that was 120. You weren't supposed to defeat him anyways, because every other Pokemon in that, in that mission was like level 5. You weren't supposed to defeat that Pokemon. That makes sense. But in a Pokemon I'm supposed to fight and defeat, there's no way that me as a trainer can defeat a level 100 and, like, a full team of these Pokemon. Especially it wants, especially when you throw a Blissey at me, you're gonna throw a level, you're gonna throw a level 102 Blissey at me. Why? Why do you hate us so much, creators of Pokefy? Why do we have to keep getting stuck with these stupid OP Pokemon? I'm, ha I'm just happy they have reverse mode, because typically their shadows don't have it. Once I, I guarantee you when we get to Cypher's Pokemon, they won't have reverse mode, though. Even though every other shadow does. But I guarantee you, his will not. Because his never do, for some odd reason. And we're going to have to f face freaking Mewtwo as well, to make things so much better. I don't know, I wish I had a full team of 100s that would make this a little bit easier. But I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I have so much stuff to do. Alright, can you please take him out? Please, Typhlosion. Please break through your confusion. Or kill yourself. That works too. Also, like in the updates, it's still just talking about Shadow Quest 2 is out. It's like, yeah, show a Shadow Quest 3. Alright. Coming in with Moltres. How does Mol- How- What? We throw in Moltres. Moltres. And then he takes half damage? What? Or did someone put spikes down? I, I don't remember any of that happening. But like as soon as Moltres comes in, he just immediately loses half his health? What's, what's up with that? That doesn't seem very fair. That's not cool at all. Nice crit though. I'll take that. 
I will take that to the bank. Who did we, who did he throw in? I like the buzz. Oh. Move. Using Shadow Storm, which is gonna just which just one shots every single Pokemon. It doesn't it doesn't matter who the Pokemon is, it's gonna one shot them. Uh, it's neither here nor there. They get one shotted. All right, coming with Tyranitar. What? Okay, he still took damage though. What's causing my Pokemon to take damage as soon as they spawn in? Did they? I don't remember anyone putting spikes down. I don't remember that happening. Oh no, a shadowy aura looms over. Yeah, but I don't remember anyone dropping spikes. I don't remember that happening. If it did, point it out to me in the comments down below and tell me how stupid I am. Oh, is it the shadow aura that that is that what it is? But I feel like that shouldn't affect me on a on when a Pokemon first comes in. Like that isn't fair, right? Like I know spikes does it a little I don't know. I don't know. Oh, whoa, well, listen, I'm, I'm not really like that. My, my skill is a gift, and, and I hate bragging about it. Cypher just off, offered training secrets and powers, but he, but he poisoned my mind with the shadows. Dude, that's okay. I just need to know where this Blaine, Cypher, and the Rose of Crystal are. I know where Blaine is. Through the under construction area, there's a completed lab. That's where I was being trained, but you'll have to defeat the bodyguard first. This big, nasty Team Rocket guy. As for the Crystal and Cypher, I have no idea. Defeat Rocket Executive. Cool. I swear if he has a level 102 Pokemon... Like, why you throw in all these trainers with these super high-level Pokemon at me? I'm not even to the last boss yet. Please. I'm going to follow this rail track, and it doesn't lead me anyways. It doesn't lead me anywhere. I was hoping it would. All right, that's that's Charlie, dude. Let's come this way towards the torch. No? No? Okay. Maybe this way? This, this way looks good. I'm seeing some uh, some name tags in the distance. What we got over here? Pikachu and Flareon. Alright, we're still... Back to Charlie. Okay, we just walked straight up in a circle right back to Charlie. I'm like, oh, we're making it. We're making it places. I swear, if I'm just not seeing it because we have to do more stupid parkour, I'm going to cry. I won't really cry. But if I did, I'm, I'm sure it'd be pretty funny. Maybe that's how I get views. I cry because Minecraft. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's, this is, this place is a bit of, everything just looks the exact same. And none of it seems to go absolutely anywhere. Alright, are we actually making, are we making progress now? No. This way maybe? No. Okay. This way maybe? No. Okay. No. Okay. No. Alright, I'm gonna run around in here so I don't kill you guys with how laggy this is and try and find the exit. Alright, so it is a bit of a maze, but if you come straight back over there from where Charlie Boy is, come straight back and kind of come over here towards the uh, the torch that's on the walls, and then you get to this little railroad right here. Uh, there's some log blocks over here, some TNT, and I got to this far, and that's why I was like, yeah, that looks that looks like where we should be heading. Uh, yep, there is the rocket executive as well. Uh, so we'll run over. Did I pee heal? I'm assuming I probably did. Let's go ahead and I'll do it again. How did you get here? And where's Charlie Boy? Oh, I get it. You want to get a glimpse of the masterful blade? <laughs> well, not on my watch, punk. Go right on level 100. And move, please. Can we please stop with these OP Pokemon? I'm just, that's all, that's my biggest complaint. Uh, like, I love that they're. Like, see, like, that's, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. Having all these OP Pokemon, and, like, we, we don't even get them. We, like, we, either, we, there isn't, isn't even a chance that we could have them, and it, it just upsets me. It upsets me so much. Alright, you're gonna take out Dragonite, but hopefully your reverse mode kills you. No one does. Alright, we could come in with just Alakazam and just, and just have him... Bought, take this hit from him from Nitto Queen just so Nitto Queen gets, goes away. Imagine Alakazam outspeeding Nitto Queen, even though it has uh, like 60 levels on it. Nitto Queen fainted. Alright, now we'll come in with Typhlosion. For another Nitto King, dude? No, no, he didn't have a Nitto King first. He started with a ride on, didn't he? No. And we don't outspeed either. Alchi. Alchi, my heart. 
Ouchie. That sucks. So much. Got with Moltres since he's throwing these earthquakes at us. Hopefully he'll keep throwing earthquakes. Please throw another earthquake. Oh my gosh, please suck a shadow in. This, this is not going well for us, guys. This is not going well for us. I don't understand how we're supposed to, to do this. So we're only three Pokemon in. And we're down to our last two Pokemon. It's a very sad, sad time. And like, that's what, that's the saddest part of it is that we're rocking four level 100 Pokemon. And this is still difficult. Like, that is what sucks. One of them being perfectly... Uh, Eevee trained with a perfect nature. That being our Dragonite, he keeps getting bodied by people. I think I just need to not pull him in so early as I, as I am. I don't need to start with him. With a Marowak? Nice, thank you for missing that. I really needed that. I really needed that, and I really need this to one-shot you, but it's not going to because, you know, it just wouldn't. Why would it do that? I'm going to go for a Thrash. Uh, and of course he went with an Earthquake, and that's going to one-shot me. Of course it would, because why wouldn't it KO? Why wouldn't it be a critical hit, right? Like, why are, why would why would the RNG not be nice to me? Can this also be his last Pokemon, pretty please? A pretty pretty please? I know it won't be, but could it be? Oh, we out Gengar outspeeds him. Nice. Now, can that be your last Pokemon, please? Gengar reaches reaching level 81. Nope, Sandstorm still raging. Uh, what did he come in with? I don't even know what he came in with. I'm just gonna go with Shadow. Um. Oh. Cool, I'm sorry. Cool. Cool. Can you do more damage, please? Oh, sweet. Can a level 80 defeat a level 102 Pokemon? Is that what's gonna happen right now? No, it sure isn't. Sure isn't what's gonna happen right now. Alright, let me let me play around with this dude, see if I can beat him. You can never hope to stop us. Yeah, that's because you guys have OP Pokemon. Alright, we got much luckier this time around. A lot of people got consumed in darkness and couldn't fight. And I believe Kutops was his... Yeah. Do you worse, Rodent? You won't get anything out of me. I'm tough as nails. You'll see. I mean, I, I don't really want anything from me. I just want to get past you to Blaine. And once he's defeated, he'll tell me where Cypher is. So... Oh, well... I still knew we couldn't trust you, Charlie Boy. Uh, okay. Good for you. Good Good for you. I'm, I'm sorry for your... I'm sorry for your loss. Have fun. Hi there, Blaine. There's nothing too exciting going on in here, I see. Oh, didn't mean to take a screenshot. Did not mean to do that. Alright, so, I'm, I'm gonna hopefully go with my same plan here, starting off with Moltres. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I already have to do everything around here, so why not this too? Whatever, let's get this over with. I have work to do. Why? Why level 105 Pokemon? Huh? 102 just not high enough, so let's go ahead and bump that up to a level 105. 105. Because that makes sense. Let's go ahead and throw level 105 Pokemon at the players that can only achieve level 100. Sure. 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 Because, you see, you might just say, oh, Chandler, that's, that's five levels. But with each one of those levels, they are ga gaining higher attack stats, higher HP stats, higher defense stats. They're gaining higher stats. And it makes it so unfair when we cannot even achieve that. It just, it just it really upsets me. I'm going to absorb light. Might not be the smartest thing to do. Please hold on. There we go. Because I'm hoping this is going to do a ton of damage. Because it's, uh, it's a grass-type move. Even though I know he's a shadow Pokemon and isn't a grass type, isn't a water type. Still, I was hoping it would do work, and it didn't. It did no work. Did not do what I was hoping it would do. Okay, so let's go ahead. And also, I used my rare candies on Gengar cause. You know what's coming with Gengar? Let's see if Gengar can uh. Can outspeed this Blastoise. Go with a Shadow Ball. Oh, he totally outspeeds him. That's good to know. That's good to know for future reference. Gengar is going to be so much help when he's, like, level 100. Can you outspeed Charizard? No, Charizard's a pretty fast Pokemon as it is. He's going to one-shot you. No, he isn't. He isn't going to one-shot you. Should have with a Hypnosis. Not good. 
So either way, he's going to take me out. So I'm going to go with Hypnosis. Okay, I was, I was going to hope he would be consumed by Darkness and would have been unable to attack. So I'm going to come in with Titar. I think Titar is a smart one to come in with right now since he is a rock type uh, up against Charizard's fire. Oh, he went with Shadow Storm. Of course he did. Of course you, you'd stop using your fire type moves and use your move that typically... Don't tell me I use... No, I used Thrash. I was like, please tell me I didn't use Earthquake. But I still think it would affect Charizard. I don't believe Charizard has Levitate. Gyarados comes in. Oh! Does not take out the T-Tar. T-Tar holds on to give him one Thrash. There we go. My boy T-Tar. He's going to get taken out by that crutch because he had like 2 HP. No way he was hanging on for that. Alright, so we still have Typhlosion as well as Dragonite. So I think I'm going to come in with... The, the I think I'm gonna go with Dragonite just because he's he's super he's super fast. Which I actually don't know who's faster. Who is faster? Dragonite? He's a speed of 225. Oh no! It's speed 55. Typhlosion is actually much faster than Dragonite. Yeah, I should have I should have come in with Typhlosion. No! Are you kidding me? A critical hit. You cannot be one sh if you're getting one shot in this late in the game, it's it's not good. It's not good. When all I have left is a level 43 Alakazam and a level 100 type Lotion. Up against an Arcanine, oh, this isn't good. There's no way I'm outspeeding an Arcanine. It's just not happening. So that stupid Shadow Wind move is gonna be the death of me. It's just gonna give me- And of course he'd one-shot me! Why wouldn't he one-shot me? Alright boys and girls, I will return later. At a later point, when we hopefully have defeated all of them. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I say that, we have to get our Alakazam in here. Because he's going to do bits against this Arcanine. Alright, go ahead and hit him with that Psychic. Also, I just realized my alarm's about to go off to wake me up in the morning. Look up, but I woke up early because today's my off day. Alright, I think we might have a good luck this time if Moltres holds on, buddy! Why can't you hold on? I believe Tyranitar is his last Pokemon, though. It, can it be? Is it? Yes, thank you. I have shamed the Team Rocket name and the scientific community as a whole. Don't look at me. Where is Cypher? Well, I might as well tell you now. It doesn't matter anyway. Since I created the most powerful Pokemon and made Cypher uh, more powerful than ever imagined, plus with all the power and resources Team Rocket to end a second investor gave him, <laughs> head to the factory. Down the broken elevator, make your way to a room off the conveyor belt. That's where the Rosso Crystal is. I'm sure that's where, Cry where Cypher will be. But again, this is me you are talking about, Team Rocket's most esteemed scientist. You're going to get beaten. That's my hypothesis, at least. Let's see how the ex experiment pans out. Anyways, I'm getting out of here. Good luck, kid. Hopefully one day I'll be as heroic as you are and make my daughter proud. Oh, they gave some backstory. So kind of them. Also, I just want to throw out there... Oh, it's back to... Uh, when I was standing in there, I was rocking 90 frames a second. It was wonderful. And all sorts of magical. Uh, so we're going to make our way back towards the... Uh, back towards Charlie Boy uh, out there and head down the uh, the broken elevator. The way... Where, you know, where we first went when we saw the uh, Giovanni is, I'm assuming, where we're going now. There's so much lag and it just makes me... Makes me want to rage. But yeah, I'm... I am so over these l plus level 100 Pokemon. It is, it's just not even, it's not even funny anymore. It's like, please stop. But he's like level 105. I am so afraid of what freaking Cypher is going to throw at me. All right, so let me go ahead and pee heal so I don't forget. So we're heading into the factory looking for the broken elevator, which I'm assuming is, is, is that right there. Where we were earlier, we'll drop down here. And I just run over here. I, I still see Giovanni right there. Looking for... Oh, yeah, there's the Mudkip. Oh, can I not... Can I not get two, three here now? There we go. All right, there's Mudkip over there. Pikachu out there. I can't even really see him. Alright. And Giovanni's still chilling in there. Hopefully Cypher's the... Well... Like, this is the right way, right? Right? Oh, there he is right there, isn't he? Maybe. Maybe if I can turn. If I can if I can turn that right there. Is that him right there? No, that's Amistar. Dude in chat's asking if anyone's a cipher. 
If anyone answers, I'm totally gonna just TP there. Alright, let me go run around, try and find him, and de dealing with his lag. If it wasn't laggy, I'd take you guys along for the journey. Uh, oh, maybe is it clearing up a little bit? So I'm just trying to find... I'm assuming we just went too far. May Ooh, we didn't turn this way. Oh, never mind, we can't go this way. Why build it if I can't go that way? You're making me think I found where I'm supposed to go. Uh. All right, but people also when you're also asking who's the cipher, which one, which which cipher? Well, there are multiples now. All right, this was I'm assuming the broken elevator it was the only other place to go. I'm like real stupid. I am like so, so so stupid. Just just the stupid. Like we already ran over to where the dude's at already earlier, and I just forgot that uh that it was there like i just completely forgot the mud kip right there we run behind him there's cypher like we already ran over here earlier um so stupid but yeah i'm super excited about mud kip that is gonna be our gen 3 starter i've always said i know we already p healed but we're gonna do it again uh we're gonna start with dragonite this will probably take us a couple of tries but we'll see what happens <laughs> oh yeah we'll get ready you'll feel a world of pain really no like no chat nothing what you rocking? 105s. Of course you are, and you outspeed every living beast, Mr. Alakazam, so I'm not even going to try. Also, I'm wondering what what natures they rock for these NPCs Pokemon. Super effective. Cool. Starting it off with dra out Dragonite. Typically, this is when I would start slash lobbying and coming back in, so that way I can always attempt it with a full team. Uh, but I'm not going to do that just so that way maybe we can get past Alakazam. I just want to see I just want to see what else he has while I'm here with you guys and then I'll be like 10-4 and then I'm going to stop recording just the whole thing so uh, we'll see if this goes any better let's see who it doesn't seem like anyone's going to be able to outspeed this Alakazam you're actually the oh oh and you know what you want to know what I just realized he's not taking <sighs> to the creators of Pokemon if you're watching this video I highly doubt you are but if you are, I love your quest. I love the, I love this server. I love that you guys keep adding these quests to the server. But quit making them so difficultly difficult and insanely impossible for the player. I know people have beaten them. I know they have. But you're making it to a degree of unfairness that just isn't cool. First of all, you're giving us these over level 100 Pokémon to face, which is one thing. But then when I'm coming up against, against Cypher, and the whole thing about these Shadow Pokemon, the whole things, because they have no weaknesses, right? Like, that's that's their thing. They have zero weaknesses. They are normally affected by everything. Nothing super affects them. Nothing uh, not very affects them. Their whole thing, the whole way you balance that out is with Reverse Mode. And then when you take Reverse Mode away because we're dealing with Cypher, that makes it unfair to an extent that I just cannot... I cannot bat like that. Why? 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 Why do you? Why do you have to just completely, completely do it? Like you're already making it with us, giving us this unfair advantage of them being a higher level than us. But then you're just gonna take it a step higher and just get rid of because because that isn't like a. It's not like an accidental like oh we accidentally took away reverse mode. You have to. You had to have physically removed it from specifically his Pokemon. Like, Alakazam should be dead right now because his reverse mode would have taken out that last little bit of HP, which could have given me a fighting chance because, of course, this dude's going to have six Pokemon because the last 20 idiots we fought had 20 po uh, six Pokemon. So, of course, he is as well. <coughs> it, just, it, it just irritates me. I'm a little irritated. And we haven't even gotten to what his, I'm sure, is going to be a lot higher than 105 uh, Mewtwo. And I'm sure he's also going to have his stupid... Uh, Lugia on him that's probably also going to be higher. I'm, I'm real salty right now, guys. These Shadow Quests, go, they tend to get me real worked up. I know I know, I shouldn't be getting worked up over something as stupid as, as a, a Minecraft server, but it kind of it irritates me. Just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. Hit them with another Thrash. Oh, I can't even one-shot him. I was hoping for just for just one one-shot. That's all I was hoping for. Stone Edge is going... Oh, you missed. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I needed. 
we can at least see what his third Pokemon is. <clears throat> we can at least get an idea. So he's going, okay, so, oh, oh, okay, a level 108. Sure. 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 I'm just writing down so that way I know for future reference what his order is so that way I know when I'm oh why would I use earthquake oh but Dragonite used it first I was also confused as how it dealt damage I was like he can levitate no need for me to do that who do I have left is it just Alakazam okay yeah so we've lost this so I'm gonna go cry and attempt to beat this now I'm not going to but I'm going to attempt to so so of course after you finally defeat his level 108 Dragonite, what next to fight? Then a level 110 Lugia. We still haven't seen the Mewtwo yet. But at this point, this is only his fourth Pokemon. We're already to Lugia. We, we've seen our Dragonite. No, I don't want to install updates right now. Computer, no, computer. Uh, so I can only assume he only has five Pokemon. Mewtwo's his, his last one. So. Body Typhlosion, Dragonite's gone, Tyranitar's gone, all we have left is Moltres and Gengar. So, this is gonna be fun. Look how, look how tiny, look how tiny Moltres is compared to Lugia. I don't even know what a good move to try and land on him even is. Like, Sky Attack would be great, but I know he can't survive two rounds. So I'm just gonna go Aeroblast. Please don't do a lot. Doesn't do too bad. Maybe he'll just keep spamming... Uh, did almost nothing. I'm just gonna go for a Sky Blast. I'm gonna hope that that didn't crit, but indeed, but instead it decided to crit. I was hoping he would do that and then maybe get consumed by Nargis. But all I have left is Gengar and Alakazam. So uh, Alakazam is almost level. I mean, uh, Gengar is almost level 90, which is, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I'm with a Hypnosis. See if I can land it. Alright, we'll try this some more. Alright, so we've done a bit of grinding. Uh, I've managed to get my Gengar up a little bit higher. Uh, he's at level 95, but I got I got a bit of a guy coming in who's gonna who's gonna chill me out. Who's gonna help me out? Mr. Flash right here. He has offered uh, he wants to he wants to let me use some of his level 100 Pokemon. Now I do have a Gengar, so. I, mean, I already have a level 100 Gengar. I'm gonna let him. I don't know what to let him hold on to. I guess I'll let him hold on to my Alakazam. Sure, I'll let him hold on to that. It's modest, so sure. He, he's he's just let me borrow on these the guys. We aren't trading Pokemon away, uh, and this dude is definitely helping us out a ton. I don't know if he's planning on any others or just the one, but if he does, I really don't know who else other than just putting my Gengar up. They should remove the cooldown. Oh yeah, because there's cooldown. Alright, so I'm going to stick my Gengar up here. Uh, he has high attack, but I don't know. I don't, what if his moveset? Hypnosis? Okay, basically the same, except he has uh, Destiny Bond. He said his scissor is what really did bits. So that's what I'm hoping for. I also only have like 19 minutes to do this, so I got I to gotta get this and trade these back real fast. Also, didn't grab a Pokemon to trade him. Uh, I don't know what else to let him. I'll let him hold on to my Shadow Pikachu. Sure. Sure. Let me see if I can trade him. Oh, no, there it was right there. His Weapon X. I have no idea what Weapon X is, but it sounds magical. I'm After this, I'm just going to go for it. Oh, Weapon X is a scissor. Perfect. Alright. Alright. I'm going to give it a shot. Alright, I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, his scissor has Swords Dance, so I'm hoping to, uh, to spam up some Sword Dance. And, uh, and get this going. This, I think this is an eh move, uh, playing it this way. But I, I really, I really need to let this. Uh, he's gonna hit that shadow fire. How's that gonna? That does. They just murder Scizor. Oh my gosh. Uh, so, all right. So I'm a, I'm a. Oh crap! What server was that? I'm pretty sure that was server one. I, I'm doing my my bit move to just get back in real fast. Because I honestly don't have a ton of ton of time. I'm not trying to steal this dude's Pokemon by any means. That is not what I'm going for. Is he in this one? I hope so. Gosh, I hope so. He's on my friends list, if not, and he's 
All right, so let's instead start with Typhlosion, which I know I know will work. I know this will work. Uh, hit him with a flamethrower. He went with a focus blast. Is that gonna one shot me? Please don't one shot me. Flamethrower is so loud. So really, I just need to get past his Alakazam. Uh. Gengar can deal. Oh, thank you for doing the combine. Gengar can deal with his Dragonite because he can tank outrages. Uh, at least mine can. So that's why I. Seriously? Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you for another combine. Uh, so I don't know what to use on Aerodactyl. I think Tyranitar is going to be the best bet, and then maybe for Lugia, come in with Scizor. The thing my thing is, I don't know when I can hit these. Uh his sword stance because that's what I need I need his sword stance up his attack missed beautiful 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 oh they're so close for the one shot so close for the one shot can you and the stupid shadow and that stupid loud sound super effective uh Typhlosion has fainted uh Aerodactyl damaged by recoil alright so we're coming in with Dragonite right here uh, I'm just gonna come in with his Gengar, who I know I know Gengar can tank outrages, and I'm gonna have him go with. I'm just gonna go with the Shadow Ball. Oh, his is real fast too. Oh, that did not do. But can he tank Shadow End? He cannot tank Shadow End. I am not gonna have nearly. Yeah, he's chilling right there. I'm not gonna have nearly as much luck as he did. Honestly, I am not. I am not. I like how his metal ha hits holding a metal coat on it. Uh, I don't even know what his highest move is going to be. Acrobatics, yeah. The user nimbly strike. If the user, if the user is not holding an item, so though with me, if I'm not, why, why are you holding an item, dude? Which I don't know if that actually does. All right, he went with earthquake. And is that going to take me out? No, okay, so we'll at least be able to manage one sword stance. Uh, which is beautiful. Oh, wait. He has a lot of damage done to him. Was that... I don't know what was... I'm going to go with acrobatics. Outrage, please don't knock me out. Please don't thank you. Oh, uh, no effect. Not very effective. And we have the one acrobatics on him. Oh, uh, we totally should have went with a roost. I didn't think... Oh, shoot. Alright. I was hoping we'd outspeed. Either way, we were dead there. Either we roost or we hit him, so that's why I went for the roost. All right, but I still have I still have my Dragonite. I still have my Tyranitar and my Moltres. All right, so I'm gonna come in with my Dragonite. I'm gonna come in with him. I'm gonna see if we can land one Dragon Dance. He uses Psychic. Doesn't do too much. All right, just one Dragon Dance. That's all I want. That's all I want is one Dragon Dance. And then please let that be enough for me to outspeed this dude. Yes, it was. One, one shot, one shot. Not a one shot. Use another Psychic, thank you. Don't crit. Thank you. He became confused, that's fine. There goes his Lugia. So his next is Mewtwo. There is Mewtwo, level 110. We need to break through... The confusion. Mewtwo's gonna outspeed us, though, isn't he? No, he, yeah, he is. Yeah. So all we have, all I have left is Tyranitar. Do I still have Moltres? I still have Moltres. Okay, let's come in with Moltres. Uh. Let's go with the Heat Wave. Mewtwo is one of the fastest Pokemon, though. Okay, there. Molt Moltres did. Could tank that a little bit, but we freaking missed with an accuracy. That's not what we need, Moltres. We don't need you missing those attacks. Especially that attack, because that would have actually done a pretty decent amount. Alright, I need Mewtwo to miss this attack. Nope. Alright, so we still have Tyranna, uh Titar. After this one, I'm going to have to trade his Pokemon back to him, because I, I got to go to work. So then we're actually going to have to attempt this all on our loan. So Alright, let's go with the Thrash. Please don't knock me out. Please don't knock me out. Please don't knock me out. Alright, so I don't know how well this one's going to go. But go with me for a second. So I'm to Mewtwo. Theoretically, the last Pokemon. I'm just telling you guys, I got pretty, pretty lucky in this one. So I started out with Typhlosion. 
went ahead and took out Alakazam. Uh, he did uh, some damage to Aerodactyl, didn't take him out, came in with Dragonite, uh, did a couple dragon dances with, uh, with some Roost to get up some health, Outrage to knock out Aerodactyl, Outrage to get the dragon da Dragonite down to half health, uh, his Dragonite used Earthquake, didn't affect me, hit him with another Earthquake, took him out. Lugia comes in, I'm confused, I have that much health because uh, I think dra the Dragonite might have been able to hit me with something, but I'm at that much health and Lugia is in front of me. I'm confused now, so I go with an Outrage, break through the confusion, one shot Lugia. So now we're at Mewtwo. I still have my Gengar at level 100, fully EV trained, my Moltres at level 100, not EV trained, and my Tyranitar at level 100, not EV trained. And also, because I did this in between the last little parts here, my level 100 Alakazam, fully EV trained. So, maybe, maybe we can do this. So, Dragonite is still confused, but he should be able to outspeed Mewtwo if he breaks through this confusion. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. One shot him. One shot him. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And a level 150 Weedle, we snap out of confusion. And Dragonite sweeps. What? How? How? I have the strongest Pokemon in the world has ever known, and you still win? That's impossible. You forgot one thing, Cypher. Oh yeah? What's that? That that is just about much as the trainer about the Pokemon. But with Shadow Mewtwo, it should have defeated Oh you with my eyes closed. You're done, Cypher. No one will be in a world of pain because of you again. You can count on that. Typhlosion, destroy that quick crystal. No, my shadows, please don't scroll down. No, my shadows, do you have any idea what you've done? The amount of work you've just ended like it's nothing? Your partners are next, Cypher. I don't care who started this, I'm gonna make sure it's finished. I've lost everything, everything. All the things I've built and Pokemon I've created, the people I've recruited. How, how could this happen? How could someone like me be defeated? Maybe, maybe I wasn't as good as I thought I was. Or maybe. I'm just that much better. Shadow Quest 3. Complete. And we got another Shadow Egg. 50 tokens and 4,000 coins. I don't know how I got so lucky there, guys. Like, I do not, like, I didn't even get to use half of my team. I just took out Cypher using two Pokemon. And I've been trying, I don't know how I got so lucky. But, uh, that is indeed... Shadow Quest 3. Pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, this video is also coming out a week later than I wanted it to because I just couldn't beat that. But we do have a new Shadow Egg. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it. Let's right click the PC, something we have not done in a very long time. Booting up our PC. I'm going to just go ahead and drop my Gengar right here next to Shadow Pikachu. And let's go ahead and open up. This is what our third Shadow Egg? Yeah, because we have Shadow Pikachu, Shadow Aerodactyl. Uh, and now we're going to have our, our new Shadow Baby. If, there it is. Alright, what is... Oh, that's the legendary eggs. It, it wasn't, it was loading. Alright, so, with all the new stuff, the possibilities that we could get the newer stuff, uh, Marowak, Starmie, I believe those are newer, and then the Terracross, Kabutops, Amistar, Electabuzz, Rapidash, Nidal, Queen, King, Chansey, King, Dralakazam, Gyarados, Eevee, Pikachu, Tyranitar, Houndoom, Fralligator, Typhlosion, Magnium, Dragonite, Snorlax, Aerodactyl, Lapras, Sight, Thur, Execute, Blastoise, Charizard, Venusaur, and then the th the three legendaries, Shadow Weedle being the smaller one. It's not he's not a legendary. I'm not saying Weedle is. On the server, Weedle's become a bit of a meme. Shadow Weedle's like the cool guy, which is why he was level 150. Uh, then we got Shadow Lugia and Shadow Mewtwo. Shadow Mewtwo is really what we want here, guys. Uh, or even Shadow Lugia, just another legendary to have on the team would be pretty cool. I don't even know if I'd add either of them to the team because right now like, I have Moltres on the team and I'm. Fairly certain he's going to be leaving the team come Gym 3 for Swampert to come in. Let's go ahead and open up our last Shadow Egg. And let's hope for something cool. At least if it's something uh, really cool, we might be able to trade. We might be able to use it for trading when Gym 3 comes out with more, more of the rare Pokemon. But uh, let's just let's just see what we get here. I saw a Mewtwo, and we got Shadow Executor. Alright. Okay. Not, uh, not super exciting. No one's really saying anything in chat. 
So let's go ahead and check out his EVs. 95% EVs, not terrible at all. Uh, special, special attack and special defense are maxed out. Let's go ahead and check him out. He is brave, so he has high attack, lower speed. I actually feel like that would be a good nature for Executor. I don't know. He might be a special attacker, though. Honestly, I don't know. Let me look up. Best nature for Executor. Not Execute. Executor. Or, oh, that's because I was spelling it incorrectly. The XE. Yeah. So, I hope you guys did enjoy... All of this if you did be sure to let me know in the comments down below i apologize this one was a little bit longer uh than i intended but you know these these quests do typically go for a while this right here says is the the best nature for him uh would indeed be modest which is a higher special type because yeah he is a special now that i'm thinking about it yeah because you would want to have psychic on him so yeah he would be he would be a a physical attacker i mean a special attacker not a physical attacker so you'd want modest for that lower special attack but you'd also want you'd want speed to be neutral so he's not a great nature by any means uh i'm sure there's a build out there for a physical attacker uh i personally will not be using him but uh, that is neither here nor there like i said hope you guys did enjoy this be sure to come back next week uh so next week is going to be november 3rd but that is the week we are actually going to look into the Halloween Pokemon eggs. It's going to be actually the day they ended. So if you guys are watching this video, don't wait to next week's to start looking into your Halloween eggs. Because those end November 2nd. So be sure to look into those now. Uh, and then next week, I will uh, show off the ones I get. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it. And I will see you guys in the next one.